It is time now to know what's on the front pages of the Nigeria newspapers. A public affairs analyst, Alade Ndiaria, as well as broadcast journalist, Funke Treasure, are in the studio to look through the papers this morning. Good morning, lady Good morning. and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Thank Breakfast. All right. Uh, we'll begin with the business day. Five areas Nigeria's gas is in demand amid energy transition. Five areas Nigeria's gas is in demand amid energy transition. You find details of the story on the pages of the business day. All right, to the national economy. Now, Nigeria risks more divestments by international oil firms as cases of oil theft, vandalism, sabotage escalate. Details on the pages of the national economy. To the leadership newspaper, bandits go berserk, kidnap 60 in Zamfara, Monarch in Koduna, kill two. Abduct two soldiers in Borno to others in Yobe. Parents of abducted Islamia pupils in a fix over new ransom uh, career. Uh, police DSS keep mom over collection of ransom through banks. All right, we'll look at that uh, story shortly. To the Daily Times now, Nandi Kanu to remain behind bars till October the 21st. As federal government fails to produce IPOB leader in court, Kanu drags Nigeria Kenya to African Rights Commission. Details on the pages of the Daily Times. To the first uh, news newspaper, 2023 presidency, South South Groups, Northern Cabo, Northern, Northern Cabal set to field Jonathan investigation. Northern Cabal set to feel Jonathan. This investigation converses already on tour of geopolitical zones. To the blueprint now, as Aerofi suspends school resumption in Kaduna, K pop, uh, another 80 year old first class monarch abducted, medical doctor's wife, one other kidnapped in Benue. Federal government tasks AIGs to deal with criminal elements. All right. To the Nigeria News Direct, separatist agitations, confusion over Kanu's absence in court, Igbo's fate on extradition, unknown. To the Daily Trust newspaper, cessation, Kanu to remain in DSS custody as Igbo's fate hangs. IPOB leader absent as court adjourns to October the 21st. Economic activities disrupted in Southeast Afeni Ferry backs Igbo, who criticizes federal government. Find details of the stories on the pages of the Daily Trust. Let's quickly move to this day newspaper. PDP governors, free, fair, credible elections not negotiable in 2023. Reject proposed direct primaries in electoral bill. To the Punch newspaper, PDP governors, APC clash, forum capets, uh, federal government over killing massive rigging plot. Opposition governors rebuke Buhari regime, allege incompetence, stifling economy, PDP, a field party sinking. Uh, governors communicates uh, tissues of lies, says APC. To the Vanguard newspaper, Igbo Ho, federal government, uh, Bernanese lawyers battle over extradition in court. Uh, supporters insist Igbo Ho committed no offense against Bene Republic. Journalist supporters barred from courtroom. Bene security operatives remove leg chain handcuff. Uh, you find details of the story on the pages of the Vanguard newspaper. To the Nigerian Tribune, supporters Obas Thronko to New Court as Igbo Ho's trial holds behind closed doors. Gani Adams rallies Bene Monarchs, Afeni Ferry Lords Ulubado Oni. To the Guardian newspaper, Kanu's absence forces three month delay. Court details on Igboho's fate amid heavy security. DSS blames Kanu's absence on logistics oh. difficulties. Um, yeah. IPOB leader drags Nigeria, Kenya to African Rights Commission seeks return to UK. All right, to the Daily Sun now, controversies trail Kanu Igboho's trial. And finally, on the front page of the Nation newspaper, Please chase away Igboho's men from Benanoa court. Judge sends agitator back to custody. All right, let's begin with uh, the story talking about um, the issues going on in Kaduna and some other states. Uh, bandits, if you look at the front page of the leadership newspaper, bandits go berserk, kidnap 60 in Zamfara, monarch in Kaduna. Q2. Uh, this is coming on the heels of four students who escaped. 
uh, there's better of students uh, who escaped, and about, we had about 28 of them that yeah, were returned the parents, yes. in the morning yes, on Sunday, and then we had four escaping to meet their parents. And now we have a monarch in Kaduna that has been kidnapped, and developments coming out of Kaduna say that uh, the government has indefinitely suspended school resumption. Let's get your reaction. Let me begin with you. Well, um, I once said it here that um, if a revival knew that his second time would turn out this way, I'm sure he won't have contested. You see, because as far as I'm concerned, he has lost it. Mm. Yeah, I sympathize with him. He's a first class brain. But you see, it is no longer um, explainable why things got to this Point. sorry pass. Yeah. I thought that when he said he wasn't going to pay ransom, he would have some deliberate, sustainable, and frontal strategy. He says there is an strategies. offensive going on against activities of the well, bandits in the well, state. How effective is the offensive if, in the midst of the offensive, we're still experiencing more kidnaps, more attacks? Now, the main goal of Boko Haram over um, Western Nigeria education. Now has been completely achieved in Kaduna State. Schools have been closed. And who knows when they will reopen? Well, we can't say when they will reopen exactly. because it's just a suspension. So it's, not a, it's not a story um, that one should gloat over. For me, I would prefer the declared sort of emergency in Cardinal State. If anything, what would that change? Yeah, because if they do that, let them bring in a retired soldier or maybe an infantryman, a fighter to power. Maybe then they can review the situation and then connecting with the federal government that will have appointed him, bring firepower to bear on the bandits. We cannot continue this way. It's sickening, hmm. it's annoying. Right. Every, you know, I told you, I don't regard the newspapers. What do you get to hear on TV, on radio? It's the same thing. Hmm. And our souls are dying slowly. The country is ebbing off. Life is ebbing off. Because when, when, when this happens to other people, it diminishes the humanity in all of us. Mm. So, a parent actually said mm. that he was a living you, you, dead you the, when, when his child was in abduction. Of course. Yeah. You had the Emir of Muri. He had to come out and say, look, enough. Mm. That I'm giving you guys 30 days to stop this banditry thing. Otherwise, we will come in and start killing people. Well, Let's get for me. Um, I like what you said that when these things happen, mm. they diminish the humanity in all of us. It, it's profound your thoughts there. Uh, but I want to say that I'm, I'm happy at the development um, in the northwest. I'm happy in the sense that traditional rulers have been pulled into the bandits. Um, net as okay, well the victims so, net. so yeah victims net. so so now that we are ha having um traditional rulers being kidnapped i think they'll begin to see that this is not just about the people if you're a leader mm. it, it, there's a responsibility on you to keep the peace and secure your communities uh for the accidental civil servant uh that's the title of the book Rufai, written, i know written by <laughs> el rufai uh, governor <laughs> el rufai um do you recall that uh, I'd said some two, three weeks ago that there should be a state of emergency yeah. in Kaduna? Yes. He said it again today. It's not because I don't like a personality or I don't, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's not about whether you're liking mm -hmm. somebody or not. This is about rea the reality on mm -hmm. ground. Um, if the governor cannot uh, cope anymore, okay. there should be, there are no constitutional yeah. Uh, alternatives yeah. that can be taken. This idea of wringing our hands and, you know, uh, giving up in despair that, you know, then what do we do? Or, there are or things that we could talk. do. Or talking if you talk. look at the rider <laughs> there, you see that <laughs> even two soldiers were kidnapped in Bono <gasps> State. Yeah. You see that... 60 you, persons in yeah. Zamfara. So if you look at the, 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 the landscape in the northwest yeah. of Nigeria, you see that all is not uh, well in Zamfara, in Benue. Yes. Middle Bay. Everywhere. Um, Bornu, Yobe. Across mm. the, 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 the entire region there, you see that there is no peace. Right. And you said something about, isn't this what 
Boko Haram was all about. Right. Now Kaduna State is saying don't resume in school. So the agenda from the beginning was to attack education. Because they had set out to say uh, Western education was what they were going to attack. And look at the, the disarray in, in Northwest evil. Nigeria. Schools are just, the it's students terrible. are not, they're not safe in school. Parents are not okay with their children in school. Schools are closed. Mm. Uh, in Kaduna State, the governor is saying, do not resume yet. So the school calendar is, 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 is collapsed uh, over there. So Boko Haram is winning both on <laughs> ground psychologically no, but we and, see, and, and we, we even within the we, school system. No, I, I don't want us to categorically <clears throat> put it as they winning because we still see government efforts. We still see some schools opened. How to make it safe for children. How to make it safe for parents to send their words to schools. <laughs> should, should perhaps be what government should we put do on not the front. Need, but Monica, I understand we do your not position. Need, you have to hello, write. We yeah. do not need to specially start thinking of how to make We should have done that. We there should be thinking of making the entire nation state safe. Mm. We are talking of a region where at the national common entrance, right? It will take somebody from Ruby to pass, I mean to score only two marks right. to get admission, whereas the one from Enugu, Ruby and Nugu, will have to score 137 and above. Now the schools are even completely closed. What future are we the northern youth? Precisely. Mm. These are my worries. That's a big question. I remember also that as we are seated here, those who are in the IDPs, the camps, they are daily getting pregnant and perhaps, bringing forth more you know, children. Per perhaps persons in the state be need to begin to hold their leaders to account. How? Because they place them there for a Madam, reason how? to find Madam, solution. That, that, I want to just say how. how? Like, how? You know, when you say hold them to... Okay, let, let me tell you. If you know the setup, it's, a, it's we and them. Hmm. Okay? Like they say, Morocco and VI. They are two different communities. Right. Even, even not minding that only a road separated them. And we're talking of a culture, a feudal culture that has encouraged mass poverty, illiteracy. I listened to a letter by the former Emir of Kano, and he was talking about these things. That it's a shame that the North has the largest number of out of school, school children, children in yeah. the world. Mm. And we're talking of normal times then. Not, so time not, not these times that uh, uh, shenanigans and tarried has become the order of the day. Mm. It's sickening. Right. You see, it's our people here in this part of uh, Nigeria say, uh, oh, when you say, oh, my, 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 at some point you say, oh, my, my, my. in other words, if I'm saying, if I'm cautioning you, this is going to hurt you, this is going to hurt me, uh, all of us. At some point, this is going to hurt you. Do you understand? That's what's happening in the North. Right. And you can't keep people perched. And this is to the political class as well. I, I'm beginning to think that this is premeditated by our politicians. And they're allowing this so that they can perpetually uh, perpetuate poverty in the land. Mm. And when you have pover impoverished people, um, you take away the power, their dignity from them. And so you can then get them to continue to vote for you uh, for, for a piece of muscle. You give them, what, 500 naira, 1,000 naira, and then they sell their How votes. Long do we, are we going you know, to continue this way? You know, so it's not the political future? class that for should Nigeria. take the blame for all of this. And My. in the north, Northern politicians <laughs> should be ashamed. If you what, can't what, do anything what, about the people you claim to me, represent, what worries then this, me is, this is terrible. Is the fact that in the midst of all of this, people are still looking forward to becoming governors, becoming senators. When this should all. be at the front when they are not addressing real issues. All all right. Right. People are tired. I, I was at Ikorodu ah. on Saturday. A lot of people didn't come out. You, the is it good or no? No, no, no. It's it's not. It was you didn't want to the reports. It was everywhere. The, the voter apartheid. This last was election huge. Was got huge. to the peak. Was huge. And, and why? It wasn't. A, it was. There was no competition. And I it predicted this is going to happen. But, At some but, point, there will be nothing to really be sure. We can't dimensions. continue as a people now. We can't continue to say my vote would count. Okay, if a lot of people didn't go out to vote, where would you see the millions you say you've rigged, you <coughs> voted for you? Right? <laughs> so who is going to come to we that is going to question nobody. that number at the end of we the We will question because we know that in my opinion, we need people them didn't come out. So where did you get the millions Have from? we questioned them <laughs> in little <laughs> things before getting there? Okay. That's the question. It's going to happen. We are talking about the people 
who are disillusioned, who are already disappointed. Hmm. Yeah, who but are this disillusion will continue if you keep saying and that's why that you cannot come out of, to vote. That's why we keep talking of public enlightenment, right. voter education, okay. and all of that. Let's quickly but move. who is listening? <laughs> Let's quickly move to the next one. Because vote you, you guys came <laughs> for me this morning. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to the Guardian now, Kanu's absence for this three months delay for details on Ikuhu's face. And the reason DSS is saying that uh, the absence of Kanu in court logistic difficulties and i'm wondering did they not know he was supposed to appear oh. in court is and it, for you to plan ahead what is this logistics reason maybe you can help madam, me i will tell you what all right what they what they did yesterday as is going to help Igbo's case how because already the position in, in kotunu is that it should not be brought to nigeria because of the events of his house invasion Okay. Now, Kanu is already in Nigeria, in custody, scheduled to appear in court, and as we said earlier, to enjoy accelerated hearing, yeah. and this is happening. They will simply tell them in the court in Benin that, see you, the man that has already been arrested, you, see what they are doing with him. By October, he will have spent so many months in detention. Right. Is that what you call accelerated hearing? So it's going to make Igbo's case look good. That's the mistake. These people are making. Hmm. They are cutting their nostrils by their face. And why I don't well, understand? Because, see, government is everybody's government. Right? If you're not dealing with me appropriately, I, ho I owe the right to complain. Mm -hmm. And when I complain, I shouldn't be seen as your enemy. No. I should, my, what, what my complaint should be seen on the merit of it. And attended to on time before it is your race. I said it. For every Igbo who are Kanu in detention, there are one million or more on the streets. Mm. Governments should make sure they do not give them the space to come up and begin to operate. Mm. Because it will be unmanageable. We have to make sure we do not dissolve this country violently. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. For me, and, and, and the drama continues simultaneously in Benin. Oh, and Nigeria. <laughs> and I don't know why we're now saying there's Big Brother Nigeria when there is a Bigger Brother Nigeria <laughs> oh, happening. There's drama everywhere. And the drama moved to Benin Republic. So you see, simultaneously, there's, there's something to you know talk uh, about. You talk, to talk about i picked it somewhere someone says you know again you look at the justice system in nigeria and you see the very difference between the two countries no, right yeah. now mm. you see the somebody said it's the adversarial uh, nature of the Nigerian uh, justice system and the inquisitory yes. system of the Bene, yeah. uh, Bene Republic system and you you almost can't fault that because you see you did this James Bond Genge kind of you know <laughs> arrest of of Nande Kanu only to keep him somewhere I, I never do and, and no. so who is holding the trial just to move him within the country you know Oh. The drama, there must be drama, oh, you know. So they've kept us, um, you know, uh, watching In suspense. Yeah, why would you? Why would the DSS not present? <laughs> Kanu? Was he sick? Was was he having breakfast? <laughs> what? <laughs> or maybe it doesn't make sense. Having and now it's been postponed <laughs> to October. October. Whereas. Uh, almost every day, you get to hear what's happening in Benin Republic. I mean, Benin Republic consistently. You know, so that that again puts a question mark on the justice system in Nigeria. Mm. Are we are we joking here? It doesn't look like we're serious. Look at <laughs> there's another case perpetually being adjourned. You almost can't get justice in this country. It, mm. It's sad. That adjournment I, I, I for me why, is yeah. an abuse of the Criminal Justice Act that says right. that uh, when you pick anybody up within 24 hours. Finish with it and it is so easy decide. for us to go and appear in Benin. And we cannot mm -hmm. guarantee mm -hmm. Carlos appearance mm -hmm. in Abuja. Mm -hmm. No, we, I mean, we, can't, we can't turn the entire nation into a drama field. Uh, we but can't that's do what it better. is. We can do better. Yeah, that we, can, we should do better. We should. Of us. <laughs> we should do better. No, I'm not part of you people. Hey, you're not. Not. I am an onlooker. We've got posterity. Those of us who are above 60, hey. whether now or later we will go. Mm -hmm. We want to go to our uh, our, our our graves. 
I, I think you should just make that we are leaving behind. All right. Yeah. All right. You should just make peace with yourself. Does it look like there will be a resolution <laughs> soon? No. So just free yourself. I want to live and hope. Free yourself. Still, you can still, still, die. Can still hope. Yeah. Hope against Happy hope. Happy that yes. the Nigeria that I am leaving behind is a Nigeria that right. can go into the future and excel. We are right there. We'll the leave future. the conversation here now. Public <laughs> affairs analyst Olade in the area, as well as broadcast journalist Funke Treasure. Thank you so much Thank for you leaving me here alive and well in one piece. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>